what differs between PCOS and endometriosis and, and how can you differentiate between the two if you think that you might have one or the other? There is some overlap between PCOS and, and endometriosis and we often will see people who have mm. both. The thing about endometriosis is that it can be very different. So let's put it this way, right? So for example, in PCOS, you may get slightly heavier periods, slightly irregular periods where most often it tends to be less often. So you get what's called oligomenorrhea. So the periods don't happen on a regular basis. But the pain tends to be only in and around the womb area or the uterus area. Whereas when you talk about the pain in endometriosis, because this tissue is elsewhere, you get pain in all kinds of areas. You can still get the menstrual cramps. You can get pain in your lower back and your pelvis. So not just around where you'd expect it to be if you have a normal sort of crampy period. You can get pain after sex because there can be sort of deposits in the vaginal tissue or just around. You get sort of intestinal pain. So sometimes people will experience pain worse during the time that they're on a period when they're opening their bowels or when they're passing urine. Because at that time, the menstrual tissue is going through that you know the endometrial tissue is going through that change where just like the period is occurring they're bleeding into the areas that may be touching the bowels and the bladder so the pain is very different you feel it in different places depending on where the endometrial tissue is yeah you can get bleeding in between periods as well so you don't really see a lot of that in pcos you tend to see less often periods the causes for infertility in pcos are slightly different from the causes of infertility mm -hmm. in someone endometriosis. So in, in PCOS, the commonest thing we struggle with is anovulatory cycles. So what that means is that when it's a period, you don't make an egg on the regular day 14 that you should, therefore your fertility is affected as a result of that. But in endometriosis, the fertility impact can be due to a number of reasons. One, it could be because the endometrial tissue has grown around the tubes. So you may make an egg, but the tubes are scarred or blocked and the egg can't make its way after, you know, the sperm can't make its way to, up to the egg, or if it does by any chance, the egg can't make its way back. The other thing is that you can get inflammation around those areas, which may not allow the egg, once it's fertilized, to be able to implant. So it doesn't attach itself correctly to the womb. You can get endometrial tissue or endometriomas, as we call them, on the ovaries themselves. And when that happens, the ovaries aren't always able to make an egg normally either. So a number of different ways in which the infertility thing can happen. So I think it's you know important to recognize that the way that PCOS and endometriosis cause issues in terms of symptoms or why they interfere with stuff is very different. And that's important to recognize.